Okay, so after all this fiddling around with uh, wax and wax and wax, spindles and everything else, uh, what, what did I decide on? Well, uh, my conclusions are, first of all, it's really hard to say microcrystalline wax over and over and over again. <sighs> but anyway, um, I set out to compare Renaissance wax which is a commercial processed microcrystalline wax and pure microcrystalline wax and carnauba wax all three together. So uh, the first thing I looked at was uh, the brilliance of the finish or the shininess basically because I like a real shiny finish uh, when I do most of my work. And uh, really what I found there was they, they were about all the same. Um, that surprised me some because I did not expect the micro crystalline wax to polish up uh, quite that shiny. Uh, when I put the three waxes on uh, a piece of wood with an oil finish on it, a tongue oil finish, um, only in that particular one did the carnauba wax outshine the micro crystalline wax. On the other three spindles uh, with three other different finishes, uh, all three wax, waxes pretty much looked the same. They all shined up very, very nicely. And then the second test I did was fingerprint and wear resistance. And that is one thing that's the stated reason for having, uh, for the Renaissance wax being developed by the British Museum. Uh, because other waxes such as canuba wax and so forth uh, would show fingerprints, uh, did not really wear very well. And so what I found, uh, first of all, in the fingerprint test is uh, uh, canuba wax did show a small fingerprint smudge. It wasn't huge, but there was something visible there. Whereas the uh, pure microcrystalline wax and the uh, Renaissance wax, they did not take a fingerprint. So the microcrystalline wax is definitely more fingerprint resistant than carnauba wax. Now the wear testing, when I rub dirt and other stuff uh, on the surface of the waxed spindle, um, there was a, a little bit of dulling uh, from doing that on all three waxes, but after I buffed it up again, they all buffed up just perfectly and were just as shiny as before I started. So they protected pretty well against wear. And then finally, uh, I wanted to test moisture resistance, another thing that uh, is claimed to be superior by the uh, microcrystalline wax. And I did a fairly severe test in that I left a very damp object, a very damp uh, paper towel on the surface for, well, until it dried out, which could have been an hour, it could have been two hours. I don't know exactly how long it took. Uh, presumably, it would uh, not really, uh, a finished piece would not really encounter that much moisture all at once, maybe. Unless you left it out in the rain or something. Uh, so what I found there was that uh, the canuba wax seemed to be a little bit more damaged by moisture. Not tremendously so, it's pretty hard to tell. But uh, all three of the waxes, the Renaissance wax and the uh, microcrystalline wax as well, they all allowed moisture damage to get through to the finish of the wood. Uh, if you just had a, a couple of drops of water splashed onto the wood and, and wiped it off, I doubt that any one of the three waxes uh, would have allowed any uh, damaging to the surface. So um, to sum it all up, um, I believe the microcrystalline waxes uh, really did outperform, uh, although it was only slightly, but they really did outperform the carnauba wax. Now carnauba wax is the, the hardest of the vegetable waxes. Uh, and if you look at the data, uh, carnauba wax is just uh, a little bit less hard than the top of the line uh, microcrystalline wax, which is the, the white version or the light colored version that I was using. And also the microcrystalline wax, uh, the white version, uh, has a very small, a higher, very slightly higher melting point than the carnauba wax. And that may contribute to um, its. Uh, better performance in some areas than carnauba wax. Um, the other thing I've noted is that the, the Renaissance wax product uh, is really a lot easier to use 
than the either the carnivore wax stick or the microcrystal wax stick. Uh, with the wax sticks, they're very hard, and of course you, you push them up against the turning while it's running to get some wax on there, and and that does work. I've done it for years, but I found that the Renaissance wax being softer, you can pick it up on a cloth and spread it uh, all over the area that you want to wax, and really I found that was just a lot easier to use. So going forward, I'm probably going to switch to the Renaissance wax um, for uh, my purposes uh, on the occasions that I use wax. And I've got nearly a pound of pure microcrystal wax left over. I'm going to find a way to melt that down and mix it with something and come up with a formula that's a little bit more like the Renaissance wax and that will probably give me a lifetime supply of it. <laughs> I hope this was of interest to some of you. See you next video.